Okay, today in phonics we're going to be looking at the OR family. It's the biggest of our families. It's so big. There are so many members. There's eight members, eight different ways of making the OR sound. So let's have a look at this lady. We've got the OR as in fork, the OR as in saw, the OR as in pool, the OR as in talk, OR as in pour, or as in core, or as in daughter, or or as in door. Let's not worry that this is such a big family because we're just going to have a look at each of the letters, um, <clears throat> each of the sounds, and just give one or two examples of each because they're a very, very big family. Okay, so today I've divided my page kind of into eight. I've actually split the last column here, otherwise I would never get any words on. It's the biggest of our families. There were eight different ways of making the or sound in phonics. So let's have a go today. This is the, this is this will be a fun one to do. Okay, so the first picture we can see is the picture of a s or. So we can hear the or sound in it, and the or sound in saw is made by the an a w digraph. S or. And that's also the saw, as in I saw you playing in the park. So I saw you walking to the beach and I use a saw to cut the wood. Okay, let's have a look at our next picture. Oh, it is a f -ork, fork. So you can hear the or sound there after the f sound. And that's going to go in this column here. The f or k and the O oh and the U uh are making the O oh sound. And let's just highlight here the A uh and the W. Uh. Okay, please feel free to stop the video at any time. Just put it on pause, do your writing, and then you can replay it again. You can do this phonics lesson at your own pace. Okay, there's the fork. Our next picture is um, some somebody pouring some water. They, they pour the water from the bottle to the cup, pour, p, or, so we can hear the or sound, and that pour is written using this trigraph. Let's have a look, p, or, we pour the water. Well done, we have to do that at lunchtime, don't we? We pour the water from the jug into all the cups at the table, pour. Okay, that's the water pouring. <clears throat> oh, and who can guess which season this is? Is it spring? Summer, autumn or winter? You've guessed it, the leaves on the floor give it away, don't they? When the leaves fall from the trees in autumn. And again, you can hear the or sound. So when we go, it's this or, it's the or as in haunted. So it's the or, t, mm. And that's got an unusual spelling because there's an n mm at the end, but we don't pronounce the n. Mm. Okay, but that's the or sound is at the beginning of that word. Fantastic. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that lady is taking her dog for a walk. So you can hear the or sound in walk after the w. W, walk, walk. And if we have a look over here, looking at which column to put it in, it's actually going to go into this column here. It's the a and the all together making the or sound. So let's add this one in. And I know in the picture of the family that we had a look at, they were telling us, let's just have another look. The A-L, or as in talk. So shall we add that one in as well? Walk and talk. We're all very good at talking in year one, aren't we? Walk and talk, they both go into that column. Okay, let's have a look at our next picture. Our next picture is a picture of a t or ch torch. So you can hear the or sound there. So let's come and have a look at our list. And the or sound is made here by the o and the r digraph. Torch. So let's add that one in. T or ch torch. Well done. Excellent writing. So many family members here. And we're filling them up fast. So we've seen a torch. 
Oh, these two look like they are neighbours. Now this is going to be a challenge word, neighbour. And you can hear the or sound at the end of this word. And that's going to go into this column here, if I can squeeze it in. Now this is going to be a challenge word. You might need some help writing this word. Let's have a look, see if I can squeeze it in. Neighbour, just about. And it's the o, oh, a, uh, er, as in poor and neighbour. You see that? Excellent. That's a challenge word. So usually we put a little star above it, just so we know it's one of our challenge words. Well done. And those two are neighbours. Ooh, someone's eaten the apple but left the core. K, or, core. Oh, now that or sound is going to go in this column here, or, core. I wonder if you can guess what letter's going to go at the front of core. Well done, you're right, it's a curly k, k, or, core. Fantastic, great learning today. Oh, what's this, what's happening here? Somebody is dipping their chip in some sauce. S, or, s. Now, sauce is quite a tricky word. Let's have a look at how we write the word sauce. It's going to go into this column here. It's the a ah and the a ah digraph making the or oh sound. So we're going to write s or oh, s sauce. And it's the a ah and the a ah making the um, or oh sound. Now, the reason I said it was quite tricky is because there's two s sounds in sauce. There's one here, s. Okay, here we have a picture of a door, d, or, and you can hear the or sound there in the middle of the word and towards the end of the word. So let's have a look, d, or, door. So door is going to go in this column here, d, or, and it's a double o, double o, er, making the or sound in door. Fantastic. Uh-oh, I can see somebody has lost a little piece of their jigsaw. Jigsaw. Now, we saw this word right at the beginning of this video, the or sound, as in jigsaw. So we've got j, i, g, saw, jigsaw. Okay, so that's going to go in this column here, the same as saw. It's actually the same word. We just put the word jig at the beginning of it for the jigsaw puzzle. Well done. Okay, oh look, this mum is giving her daughter a hug. D daughter, daughter. It's going to be one of our challenge words today. And it's going to go in this column here. We haven't got any words in here yet. So let's try and write the word daughter. So it's going to start with a d, and then we're going to the next is the or sound, and actually we're going to use three letters. D, or, t, uh, daughter. And I'm going to put a little star by that word because it is a tricky word. D, or, t, uh, daughter. Okay? It's a very difficult word. That's definitely one of our challenge words. Okay, that's daughter. Oh, look at this little baby having a y or n yawn. You can hear the or sounds there in the middle of the word. And that's going to go into this column here, starting with the y and then the or sound and the n sound at the end. Fantastic yawn. And that's the or sound there, as you can see right in the middle of the word yawn. Gosh, what a fantastic list we've made today. Oh, last one we've got is the seashore, the shore, which is this area here. You might have all been to a beach, maybe a sandy beach, maybe a pebbly beach, the sh or shore. And that is going to have to be squeezed into this little column here with the word k or shore. Sh or see sure okay fantastic
And that today is the very big, a very large or family. Can you imagine all those different ways of making the or sound? Fantastic. Going through this video will be helping you with your reading, your writing, your, with all your spelling. So well done. And if you've got any more words you would like to add to this list, add your own words on to make your own word lists. Okay, that today is the all family. Thanks for watching and bye for now.